Hey, Internet, this is Nate, and welcome to a, a video on Brotato. We're going to cover all of the major changes and maybe some minor changes um, from the most recent patch. I would say it's like a pretty hefty patch in terms of changes. Um, and uh, in the background, we're going to have some uh, Brotato gameplay, and eventually you'll be able to hear commentary on that as well. Uh, but to start things off, um, so what are the changes? Uh, first one is, is a really nice quality of life change. Uh, runs are now saved at every shop, um, which means that you can exit the game or if the game crashes, you can resume it from the previous shop. I think that's a fantastic change. It means you don't have to necessarily uh, complete your run all at once. You can actually quit now and come back into your same run, which is great. Uh, next change, also very good, I think, uh, is all characters now gain plus one max HP upon leveling up. I think one of the issues with a lot of the characters is that if you don't get max HP, they're just really trash. Uh, a lot of the defensive characters. So having some guaranteed max HP, I mean, it's not a ton because you don't level like that much. You probably in an entire run level maybe 30 times, but like 30 HPs, 30 HP. So I think that's a really good change. And it kind of fits in this overall theme you're going to see with the next uh, changes that uh, in general makes you take less overall damage, but also lowers the ceiling for some of like the more defensive characters. But anyway, we'll get back. To, we'll get back into that in a minute. Next is a HP regen now restores one HP every second, um, rather than restoring a percentage of your HP every regular interval. So uh, the idea is that um, as you get more HP regen, that time between um, regeneration is lowered. So it's going to be more like lifesteal, where like the higher it is, the more frequently it happens. Uh, next is fruits and crates no longer get attracted when you're at full health. That means that um, you can not have to accidentally grab those when you actually have full health. And that's a nice little quality of life change. Uh, crates also heal as much as fruits. So crates not only give you items, potentially give you extra um, extra experience and currency, but now also heal you, which I think is also kind of a nice change. Uh, this is the next one is probably my favorite change. Uh, shops before wave three now have two weapons and two items and shops before wave six at least have one weapon. So I think uh, everyone's had the experience where you just cannot get weapons in the shops. Now you are guaranteed weapon options all the way up through wave six. And then, of course, I mean, you can still get them after that, but it uh, should be much easier to find a full set of weapons, which I think is really good. Obviously, there's some characters that don't love that change, but most of them should appreciate that change. Uh, next, a chance of finding a weapon of a set you have is increased until wave six. So not only are you more likely to get weapons, you're more likely to get weapons of the same set. Um, and that decreases from plus 15% at wave one. Uh, after wave one through zero percent after wave six. Um, okay, uh, the last one, I, I, I'm going to skip one. I'll come back to it. Uh, items now have internal associated tags, and some characters will have slightly more chance of finding items with specific tags. Uh, so, for example, in the game I'm doing right now, I'm playing as the ghost. Uh, the ghost has a slightly higher chance of finding ethereal weapons. So combined with... Um, the set increase and you know like that means that you're very very likely with specific characters to get the weapons that you need and items weapons and items so it's not just it's not just weapons it's also like equipment um items now will display whether they're unique whether they're limited or whether they're uh just a normal item which is also quite nice um okay and then we're going to go into the next set of changes because they kind of all group together first Bosses on danger level 5 now have 25% less health, so they're a little bit easier to kill. Um, I have not gotten to danger level 5, so I can't really talk intelligently to that, but I assume that they were just too hard, and so they're being reduced. Um, enemies deal less damage across the board, um, which you think, okay, that just makes the game a lot easier, but we also have some other changes. Uh, it combined with the enemies deal less damage, uh, late game chargers have slightly less health, mummies are slightly slower, uh, but to compensate for that, efficiency of armor has been reduced. So it takes a lot more armor to get the same efficiency that you had before, 
and dodge cap, base dodge cap has been reduced to 60%. Uh, so again, that means that the ceiling for defensive builds has been lowered, but every other build uh, between the extra HP when you level, um, enemies getting slightly less damage, um, and some enemies kind of being nerfed a bit, um, means that overall, uh, survivability is slightly increased, but the ceiling for max survivability is also decreased. Next, the effects of more inflation and less materials dropped at danger level 2 and 4 are lowered, but there are stronger enemies uh, at danger level 3, and that's been slightly increased. Um... Slight increased chance of getting uh, the max, the, the legendary tier, tier 4 stuff. Uh, some accessibility options, which I'll skip. Uh, coupon price has gotten better, which is nice. Um, so it goes from minus 5% to minus 6%. Um, and then we have a lot of like individual changes. Uh, I'm going to start with the items first, and then I'll talk about some of the character changes. Uh, so first, Shuriken. Uh, damage and crit chance has been reduced. So Shuriken's nerfed a little bit, which I think is fine because they're pretty strong in my little limited experience using them. They seem to be quite strong. Uh, slingshot range damage scaling has been reduced to 80% from 100%. Some guns fire rate slightly decreased. Shredder slightly decreased damage. Uh, turrets base damage has increased, but the scaling with engineering has decreased. Baby Gecko... Uh, it has increased its, uh, I don't remember what the chance, oh, the chance for it to uh, trigger has increased from 10% to 15%. Um, a lot of new items give engineering and have been tweaked. Uh, those items are alloy, metal detector, exoskeleton, and duct tape, which I think is on brand that all of those would also in increase engineering. Uh, medical turret it has is a faster projectile, has a bigger hitbox, has increased healing from base one to three, uh, however, the scaling on engineering has been decreased. Um, so for non-engineers, it's a lot better. For engineers, it's slightly better, uh, but not as good. Uh, if, if you were like, if you had like a ton of engineering, it wouldn't be as good. But um, outside of that one case, it's still just going to be better. And even in that one case, it might still be better because the projectile is bigger and faster. Uh, landmines activation range slightly increased, so it means it'll activate from a little bit farther away. The wizard boss waits before casting spells. Uh, alienized cooldown has been reduced. Tractor harvest has been increased. So yeah, cooldown on alienized now from five seconds to three seconds, which is a big buff. In fact, uh, I think we're going to get alienized later in this run. Plus 50 harvest to plus 60 for tractor. Um, flamethrower burning damage has been decreased. Hazer elemental scaling has been decreased. Uh, baby elephant. Oh, well, that's interesting. Minus one elemental damage has been replaced um, with to zero, so now it doesn't reduce elemental damage, and it has a higher chance to trigger. Cyberball chances increased, and I think that's it. Uh, let's talk about the character changes. Um, so character changes, brawler. Um, now has a uh, true 50% increased attack speed with unarmed weapons. Apparently it was not working before, but the melee damage has been removed. Um, so zero melee damage now, but he actually gets the plus 50% attack damage, which actually I kind of noticed when I did my brawler run that he wasn't attacking as fast as I expected, considering he was supposed to have 50% extra attack speed. But okay. Uh, the fist. Oh, flaming brass knuckles. I somehow I missed that. All fist weapons have had their damage increased. That's nice. Nice little buff. Uh, Mage starts with two extra items, the Snake and the Sacred Sausage. Um, his elemental damage uh, has been decreased from plus 50% to plus 33%, and he gets minus 100 engineering now. The Pacifist uh, has had his XP materials per uh, end of game massively decreased to uh, plus 0.8 to plus 0.65. I didn't realize the pacifist needs a nerf, but okay, sure. Uh, Knight uh, has had their ranged elemental damage um, removed, uh, and instead they get a minus 50% attack speed modification. Demon gets plus max HP, uh, plus one max HP every 10 materials. 
Now it's, oh, sorry, now it's gone from 10 to 13. Uh, Explorer has been slightly buffed, although they no longer get increased tree materials. And Engineer has had slightly less engineering, but gets a now plus 50% engineering modification. Chunky gets more HP. Bull gets less uh, base HP regen, but gets a uh, plus HP regen percent. And I think that's it. So a lot of changes. Again, probably the most impactful changes are the uh, like decreased enemy damage, nerfed to some enemies, and increased base defense with uh, HP regen, but then the lowering of the cap by making armor less efficient and making the dodge cap reduced. The other ones, I think all the all the increased uh, quality of life changes have, are great. So you can now quit and rejoin runs. Um, you get health from crates instead of extra materials, unless you get that specific material uh, up or material item. And uh, the fact that you won't pick up fruits and crates unless you're at uh, lower than full health is also very nice. And then all the shop changes, I think are, that's actually probably the biggest change. Guaranteed weapons through wave six, weapons and items, slightly higher chance of picking up the ones that you want. Uh, I think all makes that really good. And so with that, this has been Nate. And uh, for the rest of the run, you can just hear my commentary on this ghost run. Enjoy. My uh, dodge cap. Now some extra range would not be uh, round upon. Also, wouldn't mind some crit chance. I don't remember how well... I think ethereal weapons don't have the greatest crit. But on, honestly, crit chance just to like have a chance to increase my damage. Also, like my, even though my like damage percentage is pretty good, like my raw melee damage is not good. That would be also good to address. Luckily, I still have nine more waves of damage increases. I usually get, I think, about four percent damage from the axes. Hopefully, I'm getting some decent attack speed now too. And then we get quite a bit of HP. I mean, we're at 60 right now, at about halfway through, and there's only going to be more enemies per wave, right, as we get farther in. So I think, uh, I think we're in a really good spot right now. 61 HP, even more lifesteal or range damage. I think I just want more lifesteal. Cape is funny, but no, unfortunately. I mean, funny is even the wrong word. I need range. There's another ethereal axe. I can't take another ethereal scepter. I need a uh, flint. There's a flint. Perfect. Um, I'll lock that. And I'll lock this. Definitely keeping the handcuffs until the end. Uh, that would... Double my range damage. No, more than double my, my range damage is one right now. It's going to massively increase my range damage, and it's also going to double my melee damage. Which I think was at 7. So, uh, I think we take that. Plus the other one also increases melee damage. Keep on smacking. Nice, nice. Looking good, we're getting some attack speed. Getting some attack speed, getting some damage, getting some HP. We're at 65 now. So we were at 61 at the end of the last fight. 66 now. Oh, grab that. 66. Uh, I guess we'll take a medical turret. There's range. I think I want range. Attack speed's going up at a pretty steady rate. My range is pretty bad right now, though. There's another ghost flint. Definitely gonna take this. Lock that. Um, I don't... Uh, luck is still kind of relevant. A triangle of power! Um, I think this is okay. I also really like little muscly dude. I think I'll take little muscly dude and then we'll lock the triangle of power. We're not gonna take the weird ghost. That's insanity. We're doing really good damage right now. My axe is doing 106 base damage. If I could get some crit, that would be pretty solid for the build, I think. Uh, 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Keep crushing, keep crushing. Okay. Dude, our dodge is so insane. And then even when we do get hit, like, it's not for a crazy amount of damage. More trees? Sure. More pickup? Sure. More max HP, I think, is good. Another ghost axe. I can't actually fit it in. It's funny. Um, I guess I could if I combine these. Free reroll sounds good. And I think we're good. Do we want heavy bullets? I mean, our damage is already pretty good. We'd lose some attack speed, but the five range damage. I think I'm gonna get it for the five range damage. And the extra range is not bad either. Dude, our eyeballs are doing uh, good damage now. It's half your HP in damage. So they're doing like 40 damage right now. Some incidental damage coming in. Nice. And again, even when we two take damage, our lifesteal is like pretty good right now. So and we hit. I would say fairly often. We still could use some more attack speed. My one spear holding the line. <laughs> uh, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, there's another crate. We get third crate? No, second. Wait, third crate? No, two crates. A lot, of, I mean, we're just like tanking damage. Tanking is the wrong word. We are dodging damage. Sure. Um, I think I'm gonna recycle mastery. And armor hurt is a, is a lost cause, so we're gonna take uh, range damage instead. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yes. Yes. Lock both of these. Reroll. Lock that. Okay, I mean, we're going to have a really, really locked shop. <laughs> we don't want any choice at all. We have, like, three level four weapons, though. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Um... Yeah. We're in a pretty good spot here. Okay. Still, still punching them. Still punching them. Okay, we are we are definitely getting hit. A 10% chance coming in hot with the uh, with the hits. Oh my gosh! Don't die! Don't die, Nate! Don't die! Don't die! Like literally, we get hit one time, we're probably dead. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. Oh my gosh, we live. That was scary as hell. Uh, more life steal, please. Yes. Um, glass cannon, lock, lock, reroll, and we're gonna chill. Oh, I don't even know if I needed glass cannon though. I don't know if like more armor would actually like decrease the amount of damage we take. Because my guess is that at negative armor, it's just 0% damage reduction. So getting it up, you have to literally get it positive before it does anything. In that case, it's like, we can go negative as much as we want. We just can't try to go positive. It's never going to happen. Okay. 102. 102 health, man. That's a lot of HPs. Nice. Still dodging. Still dodging. Let's grab... Uh, we can stand kind of in this zone of lots of stuff. Also, more trees. Don't mind if I do. We only have one crate so far, but that's fine. Dude, our stat increases are out of control. Just wish we had a uh, another. Um, I don't think we need HP regen. Twenty luck, sure. 
There's another spear. It's not exactly the time that I wanted to get it, though. Let's finally grab this heavy bullets. Been eyeing it for a while. Do a quick reroll. Uh, I can't afford to lose six draw, oh, but it's so good. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna try to get anything with draw. That's fantastic. Um, that's fantastic. All right, let's go. We have slightly less draw, which is dangerous. Don't get me wrong, I can feel the danger. Danger rising. However, in many ways, it's only 3%. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Not like we rely on our dodge entirely to survive. So far, we have not gotten hit, though. So knock on wood. Uh, give me that crate, please. Oh, I can't pick up crates because I have full HP. Um, nice. Okay. I'm gonna stand around that. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Dude, the axe is just so powerful. We have two crates. Nice. Okay, that was clean. That was clean. Um, yeah, this is fine. I think I'm gonna recycle that. I mean, it's kind of interesting as an idea, but it's not really what I want to do. And recycle you. Do I do that over just recycling this crappy axe? Oh, duh. Oh, I can't combine. Nate, you can't combine those. I think I'm going to sack this. Grab a ghost scepter. Grab a poisonous mushroom. Reroll. Nothing. We're almost ready for the handcuffs. Pumping the stats. We're at 112 HP. Not too shabby. Let's grab this tree real quick. And I, I don't think... I don't think we can lose against the boss. I don't know what the boss is. We're at, like, rank 3 now or whatever, so... Or 4 or whatever. I don't know where we're at. Maybe we're at three. Anyway, um, I don't I don't know what the if there's a new boss at this level. I do know that there is a wizard boss, but I've never seen the wizard boss. Oh wait, maybe I have. Is the wizard boss the one that creates the uh, the fire around him? If so, I've definitely seen the wizard boss. Okay, just don't die. Just don't die. We've got a few seconds left. Just don't die. Heal. We're good. Everything's good. Okay. Woo. Uh. HP regen at right this point. Or H, uh, XP, probably not that important. Would really have loved to get dodge here, but 12% damage. We already have so much damage. 45 range. 9% speed. That's what we want. Uh, there's another ghost flint, unfortunately. Um, I can't lose more dodge. Spawn another turret. Sure. I think we're good. I gotta get some dodge, though. Like, before the last wave, we gotta get that 3% dodge that we're missing. I would also... Uh, would I take anything else at this point? I don't know. Because even though there might be some, like, better weapons, like a minigun would probably be good, or a flamethrower... Well, flamethrower wouldn't be that good, because we don't really have uh, elemental damage. Which is, like, the main point of the flamethrower. I guess it does have initial range damage, but it's... Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, if we could get a minigun, I might take that over one of my scepters. I think it would end up doing more damage. Or at least kill a lot of the smaller dudes a lot faster. We're at 132 HP. Don't die. Lifesteal. Lifesteal, I need you. Four seconds left. We're probably fine. Woo! Uh, no dodge. We can get a final 9% or not plus 9, oh, but 7% crit. Take the crit here. Um, we don't need this anymore. Take that. And I'm gonna lock the boxing gloves. 
just to see if I can get a dodge. I can't get a dodge, so we're just gonna grab the, the boxing gloves. And I think we're okay. We're at 86% dodge, 217% damage. Like, what's our crit? Oh, all, everything two X's. Holy shit, we're gonna do so much damage if we can crit. Okay, so it's this guy. Not too worried about him. He's one of the easier ones for me to deal with because he doesn't hit very often. He does hit like a truck when he does hit, but we have a lot of HP and we dodge like a son of a gun. Get him, get him. Okay, we're, we're dodging, we're dodging. We're getting some HP, we're life stealing. We're dodging, we're dodging. Almost dead, he's almost dead. Get him. And get him. Come on. He's dead. Awesome. Excellent. We were on danger level three. So now we're on four. New enemies appear. Inflation is higher. Enemies are stronger. And enemies draw less minerals. That sucks. Ritual. Plus 6% damage. Two lifesteal. That's fantastic. And we got the masochist. 5% damage when you take damage until the end of the wave. Plus 10 HP. 20 HP regen, 8 armor, minus 100% damage. This guy is just basically gets smacked to, take, to, to earn damage. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Successful run. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See you later.